Good morning or afternoon or evening, wherever you are in the world. This is a westward view of Quartzsite. You're look, we're looking into Arizona from California, but we're not in California. Yay! <clears throat> Hi, how you doing? Love you. Missed you. <sighs> Subscribe, like, feel free to share. I'm not sure how that works, but like I said, I've just been throwing out videos. I don't really, not really technical. <clears throat> That's what my producer's for, wherever she is. Anyway, I do want to talk about some things real quick. I just went to McDonald's this morning to get some food, some hot food that I didn't have to make. And it was just comfort food. It was adorable. And it was just so, it was a long wait. People were stressing. Oh, I felt so bad for those people working there. They're working so hard. And I appreciated it. It was good. I'm not big on, you know, touting fast food and all that stuff. But <sighs> Big Macs, oh my God. Chicken nuggets. <clears throat> this message is specifically for you. If this finds you. <sighs> Don't give up. Nothing's impossible. If you think it's over, you think you've missed opportunities, missed chances with people you love, you care about, man, you just don't understand. You're still breathing. What does that mean? I don't know. It means you still have hope. There you go. You're still breathing. There's hope for anything. Don't think... If I hate when people go, well, you know, I get like I get readers talking to me about, you know, people, and they're like, well, and they'll talk about somebody like, well, this is the person... But they don't, they're afraid to talk to you, they're afraid of rejection, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, you know, I don't understand that. It's, I'd rather, I'd rather just call somebody and find out if they care about you than to just live in misery and unhappiness and just to not know. It's just, I don't understand that. I mean, you know, pull out that thorn and get it out. It might not be a thorn, it might get healed really quick with some kisses. Who knows? I'm very optimistic and I'm very romantic, so. I do believe that there's hope for the world. I do believe there's hope for you in love and life and myself including because that's kind of what I'm running on is hope. Lots of hope. And a little bit of Big Macs and some nuggets. But mostly hope. <clears throat> and I'm hoping for you that you find your way. You find the courage to do what you got to do. Find the way to, to, to be happy. That's what it's all about. If you're in misery right now, if you're miserable, if you're climbing the walls, if you're just anxious, anxiety, all these things, that's not good. That's where you need to get rid of that shit. And how do you do that? <sighs> Live in your truth. Um, speak your mind. Make that phone call. I don't know. Cut those people out of your lives. Make that new move. Change in your life. I don't know. I have hope for you. That's all I'm going to say. We have hope for the future. I have hope for you. And I have hope that you can, you know, you're good enough. Everybody's good enough. It's just we all need to believe we're good enough in the focus. And nobody's better than anybody else. And if you ha if you got in an argument with somebody like two years ago, ten years ago, whatever, I think they're probably over it. I think they've moved on. They're not pissed anymore. Usually people don't stay, you know, my arguments, when I get mad, it is like our not two years you know what I mean so if I'm even that pissed right it's like if you get mad about something and you start realizing no oh, I could have said that differently I could have you know you look at your part and you dissect it so you know dissect some things I don't know that's part of the dark night we're all learning to heal I'm still healing I'm just trying to be happy with me and where I'm at and it's really weird it's hard to explain for me but my whole life has been I can't, I can't even begin to explain it it's like a really controlled chaos and, and I never had a comfort zone ever really and it's bizarre to find one and I have to have a comfort zone and it just happens to be in a, a, a Chevy Uplander called Dharma and it's I'm comfortable with just being by myself I have food I have water and if I was to be stuck here for a month by myself with no contact with another human being I would be fine I would be pretty hungry by the end of that month. But at the same time, I'm comfortable with myself. I'm comfortable with being alone. It's not something I want. I want to, you know, find other people and contact. And, you know, we're, we're social creatures. And I do want to find my producer. 
the love of my life, whether I've met her already or she's, you know, I send to meet her, who knows. <clears throat> it's weird how it works. I don't know who I'm supposed to spend the rest of my life with, and I'm just hoping that they're not an asshole, because otherwise I'm going to be alone again. <laughs> so, you know, I don't think my interest is going to be an asshole. Maybe a little confused, maybe a little late, maybe I'm late, I don't know. But she's out there waiting at a corner, getting pissed. Uh, I can understand. And I'm rambling. But anyway, anyways, the whole point of this video was to have hope and to not give up. And the, this is kind of repetitive for my videos, I think. But that's what I'm about. I want you to be happy and, I'm, and I have concerns. I go to McDonald's, I see all these people stressed out and I have concerns for the world. I mean, Christmas is a couple days away and uh, it's gonna be raining probably by the time. So I just gotta keep my cheer up, be happy and you know, don't let those holiday blues get you. And make that phone call. And if you can't contact them, find a way, man. I don't know how it works. You know, how you, if you gotta drive somewhere and actually, you know, hi. You know, you know people, th these, here's the thing. In the, in the 80s, there used to be these romantic comedies. A great example would be John Cusack, who I think is kind of a douchebag right now. Anyways, there's an 80s movie. It's called Say Anything, and he, and he held the boombox over his head, you know. Anyways, it was cheesy, but the point was, is back nowadays, he would be tased and thrown in jail for being a stalker. But back in the day, that was called romance. You, you, made, a, you made a romantic gesture to let somebody know you care about them. If it doesn't work, it doesn't work. A lot of times... People have done that whole got on their knee and proposed and didn't work out properly, right? Didn't get the vibe from the person they were with right, properly. And you can't just assume or try to initiate that just to get to just trap them. You know, that's not how that works either. That you want them waiting for you to get on your knee and propose, right? You don't want to be like, oh my God, he didn't. Get up, get up, get up, don't do it. And if, and if, if your woman tells you to get up, that's that means she don't want to embarrass yourself, so get the hell up and forget what you're going to do. Just. I don't know. I've never had the, I've been never been fortunate enough. I've seen it and it's kind of scary and it's sad. But like I said, that's not that's not a good way to. That's not the direction we're going with this though. Be positive. You're beautiful. You're wonderful. You deserve to be loved just as I do. So find your way in the world as I am. Love yourself. I'm gonna show you something really quick. These things are so cool looking. I'm just saying this. These are the little cactus that are standing up. They look like octopus when they when they fall down. And some of them, they actually look like those things from um, there's one over there on the ground. They actually look like those um, what do you call them? Those things from the Matrix. Those little machines that look like octopus. Yeah, yeah. Kind of trippy looking. I know I'm going off topic. I'm just doing my thing. It's because it's my channel. Fuck it. Anyway. I love you. God loves you. And the universe loves you. And don't be afraid to take that chance. And to find out. If you like somebody, ask them out. Just say, look. I've done that. I've crashed and burned before. I've, I've got that one. I even posted a video about a crash and burn. Feel free to watch it. And share and subscribe. So, yeah. It, it'll happen. But if it's meant to be, it's meant to be. Straight up. Don't be afraid. Your destiny waits. Okay, I'm done. Cheesy as hell. I love you.